Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back in Satisfactory, working on steel production. We did our little, uh, or I did, when something's bad, by the way, usually I'll say, I did my. And when something's okay or good, <laughs> then I'll say we. So this one's not so great, so I'm going to say I. So, last episode, I <laughs> set up this abomination uh, bus that is going to allow us to scale out our steel production. And we did a little bit of experimenting with this. It may not be the final design. Um, I'll learn more as I go. And we also kind of looked at how I kind of played with this notion of putting these conveyor um, brackets. What the heck are these things called? I'm going to say the wrong thing forever. Stackable conveyor poles just to support these um, <laughs> support these splitters. So this serves really no purpose. We'll we'll probably get rid of that. But anyway, let's try and stay productive. I want to scale these out. So this episode is going to be pretty much, I'm guessing, pretty much all steel production. We're going to do the ingots down here on the first floor, as I mentioned in the last couple episodes. We'll scale this out as best we can. And then we will try to go vertical and on the, the next floor up, do the pipes and or do the um, the steel beams. We may do the steel beams on a, on a third floor. We'll just uh, we'll play it by ear, see how we go. But let's start looking at the numbers, which I'm not so crazy about. Okay, this guy needs 45 per minute. And this belt, whoops, this belt... The twos can get us 120, so so we can at least scale out to three. And then once we get the mega belts, what is uh geez, I need a calculator here now. Two forty-five under 270 is what? Something like three and a half or something? No, not three and a half. Uh five. Five, six. Yeah, six, maybe? Once we get the belt, 6 times 45, yeah, it's exactly 270. So that must be why they do 270. So eventually we'll be able to scale this out to 6. So this platform is going to be pretty big. Assuming that we can um, get that much out of a single mining drill down there, which we might once we upgrade to MK2s and overclock. What is the, let's see, what does the overclock get us? Uh, up to two and a half times. Two and a half times, and a minor drill gets us. Two and a half times would be. Yeah, 240, 300. This is why I don't usually work on ratios. Yeah, 300. So, yeah, we could make full use out of this. If we went six, three in each direction, let's uh, let's pop down another one of these. I'm just debating whether I should move this. This belt is just off enough probably to drive people absolutely nuts. But I think in the interest of time, I'm going to leave it and we're just going to get to getting to work here. Let's build another couple of these guys. If I've got the resource to do it. Boundaries, try to line them up reasonably well. I want to leave room in between for power. And I just don't like compact designs. Let's go back this way. My input's right. Where's my little arrows? No, totally wrong. That's all right, we'll fix it. Forgot to rotate the machine. Boy, it's hard to tell. That looks right. Oh, I gotta go get more frames. That's right. We only had enough for one or two, I should say. Let's do that. I know it's a bit of a journey, but we'll place this one back down the way it needs to go. And then we'll, uh, we'll get more frames. We should have some saved up by now. Boom. We can also maybe do the MAM upgrade on the, well, we'll see how many we have. 
you look at the top right, wow, that was loud. You'll see on the top right, we, our current research project for the vehicles. So there's a chance we have a lot of reinforced, um, or whatever those frames are. Let's head back. Yeah, vehicles would possibly speed up this journey. Again, I'm not sure if the trucks are fast. I would like to get to that dune buggy. I just don't know where that is. I'm sure it's got a different name. Is this, uh, this gets a little tedious, right? Walking like this. Not much to see. Oh, there's something up on top of that little spire, isn't there? This little guy coming up here. There's something up there. Uh, someday. We're not going to mess with that now. So yeah, we're going to get the reinforced, whatever those things are, the modular frames. or And then we'll put down, we'll start with three of those foundries. And then once we get some steel, I imagine we can start using the conveyor threes, right? Because they, don't they take, uh, yeah, they take the steel beams. So let's head over to where we've got these little frames being constructed. In fact, we can drop off some reinforced plates, keep this thing moving. Because it's kind of inching along. Our reinforced plate production is woefully slow. What do we get? Oh, not bad. That's... Wow. That's way more than I thought. I didn't do much work between episodes. So that's not too bad. I'm tempted to drain out the... Um, our existing reinforced plates. How many do I... Eh, let's not get distracted. Let's keep moving. I'm going to stop by the hub and just uh, supply the rotors and the frames. Modular frames, yeah. We got enough. We can spare, spare those. And we picked up these guys not too long ago. Cable. And got plenty of rods. Let's launch this guy. Another research down. Milestone reached. Long-range transportation, as well as the construction of outposts, is now encouraged. Vehicle stations have built-in functionality to refuel and restock or collect parts. Yeah, and I'm sure that's going to take some experimentation, too. Just working with the vehicles. Let's see, can we pick something else? Hypertubes is tempting. That would speed up our travel as well I think but boy we need these encased industrial beams and I kind of learned last episode to finally start using this guy encased industrial beams the codex steel beams and concrete oh man I'm saying oh man because we've got I think we've got a limestone deposit right by where we're doing the steel so this could easily become like the fourth floor of our factory that we're currently working on. And that might work out pretty nice and pretty convenient. But what else do we need for that? Uh, tubes. So we'll... Copper sheets. Do we have that going? Thought we did. Thought we did. Let's head back to the steel factory, but we'll kind of take a little detour over here towards where our copper is just curious if we have the copper sheets i'm pretty sure we do but it's been a while since i worked on it i think we have those here uh i'll check my inventory too while i'm over here and make sure i've got a stack or two at least because eventually we'll do that hub upgrade oops a little save lag there it would be the last line if we do yeah, that looks like those were right there. Nice. How am I doing on those? Do I have any on hand? Uh, let's sort. Lots of junk in my inventory. I've got just one stack. Let's grab a couple. That'll do. All right, back to work. Let's get to the steel mill. We have vehicles. I wonder how I build those. Like, do I have to build some kind of vehicle depot? 
just go through and see. I don't see anything here. Power storage. Storage capacity, 100 megawatts. What do these guys take? Those. Whoops. These estate horrors. Eventually, we're going to need to make those. Uh, what else did we get? Logistics. We're familiar with all that. Organization. Uh, we're familiar with that. Still got to get around to using those stairs and ladders. Oh, here we go. Transportation. Truck station. Either send or receive resources to vehicles. Has an inventory with 48 slots. Transfers up to 120 stacks per minute. Wow. 120 stacks? Per minute. To and from an undocked vehicle. Oh, I guess from per minute. That's not so great. Two per second. Uh, always refuels vehicles if it has access to a matching fuel type. And then tractor. Fuel. Any type. 25 slot inventory. Has a built-in craft bench. Can be automated to pick up and deliver. Nicknamed the sugar cube. It's pretty sweet, you know. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright. I guess what we can build with that. What's it take? Does it take, what are those things? Beacons? Beacons. Do I not have five beacons? Let's see, oh, I got them in my hand. Maybe they need to be in my inventory. We could try it. We don't have that far to go, but let's go ahead and build this thing. Let's try it. Let's try it. Something different. I think I can just plop this guy down. Boom, except I gotta get the beacons out of my tool bar, most likely. Probably should make some more of those at some point. I'm guessing, no? Not sure why those didn't want to drag out, but they didn't. This thing, I'm not sure how well you can see. Well, we'll find out. Find out. Alright. Fuel are up. I got tons of solid biofuel. You should be happy with that. But again, I'm not sure. Okay. Proceed to drive the tractor. Oh yeah, I got a built. It's got a built-in. Oh, that's not. Hmm. It's a different. <laughs> it's a different. I don't know. Is this faster? Or is it cumbersome? I got tons of biofuel, so we can play with it. All right, let's keep moving. Yeah, eventually we'll maybe automate with some of those instead of running belts for miles and miles and miles. All right, that's our second one. We're gonna build a third one. And we need to think of how we actually wanna scale. We are gonna want to put some this way, I guess. Why don't we put a third one over here on this side, just to experiment with what that's going to look like. The spacing's not going to be perfect, for sure. Boundary. Boom, good enough. Yeah, we'll start with three. Hopefully get some steel being produced. That one, yeah, let's just uh, let's just kind of get to it. We're not going to get too picky about lining things up because this is already taking a lot of time. Uh, coal, we just need a splitter on here. Let me extend this belt. I'm trying to keep these straight if I can. And then I need to come out somewhere like here. Is that going to show me where? Nope. But it's close to right along the... Wow. That painful. Something like that. Belt. I'm going with level twos, but we're going to upgrade these to level threes. At some point. Pardon my... Or clicking. All right, we need power. Where do we? How do we want to run power? Maybe this will be our main transmission line through here, kind of out at this level. 
And then we'll feed another pole that actually powers the device. Maybe a few more poles. Alright, that's three. Let's go power the other one. That's fully loaded, right? Let's pick a recipe. That guy's moving, and now we need to extend our bus to meet the needs of this guy. It's a little further than it needs to be, right? Uh, we get about one plate in a tiny bit. One plate in a lot of bit. I uh, don't care. We're going to leave it. Let's... Um, didn't uh, update my hotbar like I said I was going to, too, so... It'd be a little slow building out these belts. I gotta get these stackable conveyor things where they need to be. How about... Okay, right now we've got a mix. <laughs> we've got coal on, and we got the iron on the inside. And then here we've got the coal on this side. We're going to go with coal on this far side for now. Let's do that. Uh, that, that belt is horrible. Let's try and keep these a little bit straight if we can do it. I think that's better. Split somewhere. Around there. And I don't know why that built too. Maybe somebody knows why I got that. Why that happened. That is the second time that's happened. Not sure. It's something I'm doing. Some kind of feature I'm stumbling over. That's probably super useful in some... Um, in some applications, but just not right now. Possible I've got an extra conveyor support there that's not needed, but you can probably imagine how much I care about that. Okay. And pick a recipe. And then power this guy up. Nicely done. That's three. We're going to be able to do six. Um, once we upgrade the belts. But let's... Uh, let's see what we want to do. So I want to take this... These ingots that are going to come out of here. Is that what we're calling these things? Yeah, steel ingots. I want to go up. To another floor. So I need to think through, where do I want my ramp that's going to get me up? In case we ever want to have trucks come up through this uh, factory. So where's the ramp going to be? I guess it kind of makes sense over here. Have a way kind of to go from floor to floor to floor. And then the other question is, how do we want to lay out the machines? Like... Do we want to keep the supply of raw materials over on this side? So, in other words, belt this over back behind and then come up. And then on the second floor, kind of position the machines just like we've got this first floor. So it's almost like a mirror image. Or do we not care? It's just we're going to have, you know, we're going to have these ingots kind of in the middle of our factory. Eventually, it'd be nice to have this thing walled off. And looking something like a building. And it's pretty rough, but I could see later on putting walls around all this stuff and making it look a little better. Um, 
where would we want to route those materials so they could go up? We could, we could always push off to the side. It's kind of easy. We could come out to the side with three belts, potentially lift those up through the ceiling and then route them just like we're routing the sword down and over to feed more rows of factory. It's overkill. Yeah, well, I can make this big flat platform that goes forever, but kind of want to try something a little different. Let's get... Let's get a way to go upstairs first. I'm going to change my hot bar. Uh, six, maybe. Anybody? Doesn't want to... Is it in the way. I think my little truck's in the way. Nope. Thank you for that, though. Nope. How do I drive? Oh, it takes out the bushes. I'm not going to kill that little bird. Kind of want to come up this way. So, is this going to let me do it? Why am I not seeing? Okay. There we go. That's kind of what I want. Kind of want to come in like this. And then I want to start going up. Too many factory games here. I'm hitting the wrong keys. Where do I got to come up here? That high enough or should we go one more? Um, let's go one more even if we don't have to. Does not want a place. Alright, that's our way up to the next floor, and this is where we can play. Is right along here. Sure. Wasn't what I was intending. We'll do it. That's kind of what I was looking to do. Let's see. Uh... Oh, <laughs> that's annoying. I guess it at least it landed in a decent spot. Oh, man, I have a hard time with this. Why? Don't know. Something about it that's a little not intuitive for my brain, but. This should be perfect, just like the floor underneath. So again, if you uh, you have a favorite screenshot software, go ahead and get that warmed up. All right, this is going a little bit faster now, finally. I 
can trim the loose edges and stuff or the rough edges later. I just want to have some a big platform here that I don't need to worry about. Alright, so up here, so what do we say? We said we're going to try and get... Um, let's go back down. We're going to try and get our ingots up here. And eventually there's going to be six lines of ingots. I believe. Six lines of ingots. And what will be... I'm planning not to overclock these. Pretty much ever. Because we've only got one coal mine to worry about. Um... So we said six belts. Let's, uh, let me look at those calculations one more time. I'm probably gonna have to start writing this stuff down between episodes, unfortunately. But what I want to do is look at the throughput on the MK2s. Actually, it doesn't matter. I don't know if there's an MK3. So it's possible this is going to keep scaling up. The same thing with the belts. I don't know if there's a four and a five. Just don't know. So maybe this doesn't matter as long as we're building in a way that we can scale. So in theory, this is 120 and we said 250% with overclocking. So I'm assuming that's two and a half times what we've got. So 240 and 60 is 300. And the belts. That's 300, right? So then we said there's six... That maps to roughly six boundaries. And these guys are going to kick out 45 per minute. So, yeah, six times 45 is the 270 number. So we might be able to just send up a single belt. Let's start with that. Let's start with that. So these guys are all basically going to dump onto a single belt. That belt's going to go up to the side. Up the side. And then over, over. And the other one's going to have to do the same thing. How do we want to do that so it's not in the way? Just brainstorming future plans here. Kind of hard to uh, verbalize it. All right, let me change my hop bars. Mm -hmm. If I can. Like I said, uh, different factory games have different shortcuts, so I get tripped up as I move between them. Let's see, where is my main dude? Right here. Okay, the conveyor must snap to a conveyor pole or the input output to a building. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought I could... Uh, I thought I could just drop one. Let's see, nine. Kind of what I want to do is this. Oh, 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 not splitters. I need mergers. My bad, my bad. In fact, it's yeah, I don't know if it's, I'm going to have to take these out or not. I'm going to do it just to be safe. Uh, that's my merger and I want Nope, not mergers. What do I want here? I want these guys all coming in. Yeah, it's mergers, right? Man, my brain. This is what I want.
think. Can't afford. What am I? What? Merger takes steel beams. Do I do I have like a level two merger or something? What, what was I just trying to place there? Why is it showing steel beams? That's confusing, right? What is that? I have no idea. Um, I have no idea what's going on right now. So I'm looking here. Conveyor merger just shows steel plates and rods. What is this? What do I not? What do I have down there? If that's not a merger. Isn't that weird? So what happened? Is it because... Why is that requiring steel beams? That is very strange to me. Fair merger. Is it detecting the level threes or something? It's really weird. I'm going to move out of here just for a second. Not expecting steel beams to be required for these for me to place a merger. Okay, there it's regular. Right? What's the issue? Now it's fine. Oh, what what is this? Isn't that bizarre? If it's right. Wow, what is that? Why does it require steel beams? I am very confused by this. Cannot afford. Did I overclock this thing or something? No. Man, there's probably an explanation, but I don't know what it is. Why that would change. Let's go ahead and put the belt down. Maybe I'm confused big time here. Let's put this belt down. Maybe based on the material that you're going to move through, or the speed it detects? Look at that. Why would that be? Boy, there's something obvious I'm missing. What is it? What is it? Still building. Building menu. Rotate. Snap to guidelines. It's a control. I keep forgetting to use. That's the way I want it. If I make it over here, it's cheap. If I make it over here, it's expensive. Quick switch, hold E. What does that do? Let's try it. Very merger. That doesn't do anything. It's nice to know though. I'm gonna read the GUI here. Close, escape, snap to guidelines, rotate, build menu, right mouse button. Conveyor merger. Shows the cost. I'm on the belt. The belt is a level two. Maybe that's the issue. Maybe that's the issue. Shoot. That's probably it, right? What is this belt? Um, I 
That was a level one belt. I bet this doesn't work. Let's, uh, I'm experimenting here. Sorry. Is this going to let me hook up a belt and actually work? I have a feeling maybe now it's not. I kind of just wanted to clear that belt. Okay, product is moving. How is it that I was able to do that here? And it will not let me place a splitter over here. It changes the ingredients required. My first thinking is that that is related to the type of belt. Like it wants... Let's see. Seven. Seven. Doing a little experiment here. Okay, that's a level one belt. Now if I try and slot a merger on this guy, I get the nice, happy ingredient steel plates and or iron plates and iron rods. This one's a level two, so that must What? What? Boy, there is something extremely unintuitive to me as to why that requirement changes. Gonna do it again over here for this one? Nope. Oh man, someone's gonna have to explain that one to me in the comments because, oh, there it is, it is doing it. That's weird. Man, that's strange, to me at least. This one's fine. Let's do another check. Uh, let's escape out of this, because that's annoying. I'm going to look at my inventory. Sort it. Do I even have these? Okay, I've got 12 steel beams in inventory. 12 steel beams in inventory. If I take this guy up... Were steel beams used for that? No, I got 12. Is that because I changed the belt over here? Maybe. I don't think so. I think that's a 2 now. Can't tell. Oh, man. Wow, that's annoying. Probably not that fun to watch either. Whoops, not that one. You can go, you can go. Well, I gotta assume there's a reason for it. I may need to build... Um, I may need to handcraft some steel beams. Just not sure what the problem is. Really kind of puzzled. Why that merger requires steel beams. When it doesn't even know what kind of belts. Is it that you can only put certain products through? That seems weird. That seems really, really strange. But... It looks like it's some kind of game mechanic. Oops, wrong one. Merger. Wow, is that strange. Okay, well, we're going to have to deal with it. Deal with it. Uh, let's see. Which means we're going to have to build some steel. That, I think, is the way I want it. Yeah, there's the output there. I don't like it. I really don't like it. And this one, I'm not going to be able to afford. Ugh. That's, that's really frustrating. All right. We need to make some steel beams. Um, I wonder if I can pound them out on my little... Okay, let's get out of the build menu. Let's grab some of these bars. I wonder if I can make them on my little vehicle that we brought. A little mobile uh, workbench. Oh man, that's annoying. Yeah, that's uh, unexpected. Kind of unexpected. Steel beams. All right, take. No, oh, they're not bad. That's a good sign. Well, oh, I thought these were going to take forever to craft. That is a ray of light. In a world of darkness. 
Yeah, that helps quite a bit, actually. Super duper. I'm going to make a bunch of these. So I know I can always grab more steel be or steel ingots. I'll take this up to a hundred. Almost there. There's the big mana ray. I know it was suggested to hop on that thing and take it for a ride. I have actually seen that done back when I used to play a long time ago. But I'm not going to bother with that now. Because look how slow the progress has been. This is moving slow. All right, we should be able to place these mergers. Boy, it's still... Be interested to figure that out, why that's the case. Not very intuitive to me. I would not have expected that. But here we go. All right, conveyor twos. Hopefully, I've got. I've been sticking with these. Hopefully, these are all hooked up. Time will tell. Alright, there's three. We're gonna go up. Uh, we can do it from up top, I guess, is better. Um, I'd like to have this back maybe a tad. Let's bring this back a little bit further, sorry. Guess we gotta go up top. This is where a jetpack would be nice. Escape out of everything. Oh, it's way over there. Um, we could do the MK3. Why not? We've got a little bit now. We've made some. Can't see how that's oriented. I guess I gotta do that. I think that's... Oh, there we go. Hopefully. I like it. Expand the platform out here a little bit. That looks about right, actually. What on this side? Over a couple, maybe. That we're gonna have to re upgrade these belts right away. I guess I could handcraft some stuff and we wouldn't have to, but 
about The next thing I'm thinking of, okay, we've got our stealing gets coming up here, right? The next thing I'm thinking of is we've got really three things we're going to make that we know of so far <laughs> that we're going to make with steel ingots. We're going to make uh, the steel pipes. We're going to make the steel beams. And then we got those encased beams. And way straight out there, you can see right where my crosshair is here in the middle of the screen. I think we've got limestone over there. That's going to be the other ingredient for the encased beams. We're going to set up a miner and pipe that stuff up. The limestone up here. Or the cement, maybe... Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll turn it into cement probably inside the factory. Or concrete, I should say. I mix those two all the time. Um. So yeah, so the thing I'm thinking is how do we want to split up the beams here? And there's all kinds of belt balancers and stuff that people use. I just don't bother with that too much. Um, so right now, this is the output from three foundries. So we could take the output from the other three foundries that we're going to have. And I think there's going to be at least six. I don't like the way these are glitching out. Um, and route us on a whole nother belt. So I have three foundries here feeding, say this is pipes. Or uh, beams, maybe. Beams first. And then maybe split the output from the other three to feed both the encased beams and the pipes. Pipes seems like it's going to be the least we're going to use, but I just I don't have any idea. That's just speculation. Anyway, let's make this floor be the steel beams. So what do we need for that? Uh, let's uh, get the X key and look. Actually, let's uh, wrap this one. Let's wrap this one here. I just looked down at my little I don't know, episode timer here, and it's a good place to wrap it up. But yeah, we made a little progress. We built our first little truck. We got some research done in the hub. We can kind of see how the steel factory is going to take shape. Now, eventually, I'd like to make this pretty and put walls up, paint it, house plants, artwork, all kinds of stuff. Just make it look nice in here. But for now, it's I'm just trying to get the skeletal structure and and design it in a way that's going to be easy to scale. So as we get more coal coming in, we can just fan this out as far as we want. Right? And this will all down here will be smelting ingots day in, day out. We do probably want to do um, a couple things down here on the first floor still that we haven't done. One is I would like to split this and have it go into a storage bin in case we ever need to just run and grab 50 or 100 or 300 or whatever for the um, for the space elevator or anything, just to have our own little cash supply that doesn't get drained. And then I also like to run another splitter that goes through a double level storage, one of those heavy duty storages or high capacity storages. And then have that guy also have a belt sticking out of it or any other like distant factory where we want to route um, these steel beams. In fact, we should probably do that before we start working on the top because we can start cashing some of these things up. Let's get to that next episode though. I'll, I'll talk for another 20 minutes or now. As always, this is Glidercat saying thanks so much for watching. If you like this content, please do give it a thumbs up. That helps my tiny channel grow. If you've stuck with this series this long, then I'm going to assume you're already subscribed to the channel, so I'm not going to talk about that. But if you're just popping in late in the series, man, awesome game. You're probably already familiar with Satisfactory, but there's a bunch of other factory games on the Glidercat channel, so check those out, and maybe you'll consider subscribing as well. Lots of cool content. But yeah, for now, Sclattercat's signing off. I will see you in the next episode.